what do you mean by say her name, and can you give us a scale of what the problem is with violence against transgender women? Um, say Her Name, I believe, started uh, with many of the Black Lives Matter activists um, in response to violence and brutality showed to shown towards women of color, especially from the police. Um, and recently, it's also been applied to transgender women who have lost their lives um, to, due to violence. And a lot of people have lost their lives due to violence. A lot of trans women. How many? Um, I've seen lists that show anywhere from 17 or 18 up to 21 um, here in the United States alone. I believe that um, the last time I checked on the global scale of things, um, I, I think that we're uh, nearing 2,000. And you're just talking about in 2015, right? Uh, I'm sorry, to clarify that that was from um, globally nearly 2,000 since 2008. But this year in the U.S.? In the, U in the U.S., I think m some numbers have said up to 21. In Tampa, we have a case of in India Clark. Can you tell our listeners, remind our listeners about India Clark who lived in Tampa? Yes, so India Clark um, lost her life last month um, here in Tampa, and um, it was very devastating for all of her friends and family. And um, so, you know, the, this is a definitely a reminder that it's right here in our homes and in our backyards. What do we know about what happened or about you know, why she was killed? Um, it's not totally clear. I don't think all of the details have been released, but um, there was a man who uh, attacked her and um, shot her, and um, she died because of that, and that was over in the University Area Community Park. Tonight you're having a rally for Say Her Name. Where is it and when is it and what, how can people find out more information? Um, yes, there's a rally and it's going to be in Likes Gaslight Park. That's going to be downtown at 8 p.m. And there is a uh, public Facebook page, if you search on Facebook event page, um, that's Say Her Name Rally, a vigil for trans women lost. Is there anything else our listeners should know about this issue? You know, I think that right now a lot of people are focusing on the fact that there are a lot of, there's a lot of media cover coverage right now of trans women. And while I think that that could be well and good, there's also an issue um, of people maybe misunderstanding that and what's exactly going on. So, you know, I've seen some articles talking about how increased visibility has also, for some reason, strangely correlated to an increase in violence. And I think that people should just be mindful that even though some of the stuff that is on television that's being touted as reality television, as far as the narratives of trans women go, a lot of those are kind of, in, in the larger scheme of things, are, are definitely unrealistic in, in terms of the experience that most of us face. Um, so I think the majority of trans women are facing a lot of different statistics um, for lack of housing, employment, high rates of violence, high rates of suicide. I think it's important to talk about these issues because a lot of the mainstream media outlets are not talking about um, some of the, the more larger issues, especially violence, that have impacted us. So, you know, being able to get this word out, especially, you know, with these rallies and, and other things are helping people to have a, an increased awareness and understanding because we can't necessarily count on the mainstream media to do that for us. Well, thanks so much for your time today, Jenna. Thank you.